Hello class, this is a continuation on proof by mathematical induction. In this video, we'll be looking at actual examples of the method. <clears throat> so, here we go. The method for proof by mathematical induction is done in three very specific ways. The first step is we prove the statement to be true by using the smallest value in the given domain. Step two is by algebraically working the statement we work to prove the statement to be true for some integer n equals k and then for the next integer n equals k plus 1. Then the last step is we make a conclusion by utilizing the previous steps. So it's this step that will actually require a lot of work and thought but um, I'll take you through and hopefully you get the idea and you can apply it yourself. We'll be going through five different examples, not all of them in the same video. Here they are. And um, as you'll see, uh, there's a lot of work just for one question. But as you get better at it, you get faster and faster. So here we go. So let's prove by mathematical induction the following statement, the one that we just saw, 1q plus 2q plus 3q plus dot 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 all the way to the nth cubed is equal to n squared on 4 times 1 plus n all squared. So we have to prove this true for all integers n greater than or equal to 1, which is what we were trying to prove in the previous video. So here we go. Step one. We we um hold uh, we, we we try and make sure it's true for even the smallest value in the in the domain, which is n equals one. So we let n equal one. Well, that's simple because we're adding all the way to the nth cube. This is going to be one cubed equals substituting one here. We get 1 squared on 4 bracket 1 plus n. You can substitute all of this into your calculator. 1 cube is 1. That's nice and easy. This is going to be 1 quarter times 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. It's going to be 1 quarter times 4. 1 equals 1. At this stage, you can already do a few skips, all right? And so we stop there. So then now you can say true for n equals 1 since left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So if it's true for the first number, we assume then the next step here we go, we assume so we say for for any integer oh, k so k is greater than or equal to 1 we assume it to be true assume the statement sorry we should say the statement true for n equals k. So if it's true for one number, we'll assume it to be true for any number, k greater than or equal to 1. So we have 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3, uh, oh, we can stop that one, <laughs> plus, oh, not n anymore, it's going to be k cubed because now we're taking the original statement and we're substituting k for where n was. Okay, so k cubed is equal to k squared on 4 bracket 1 plus k all squared. We're going to assume this statement to be true because if it's true for 1, let's assume it to be true for every number greater than 1. Now here's where it gets slightly tricky. We're going to prove prove n equals k 
plus 1. Now watch very carefully, I'm going to substitute this. So we're going to substitute this into where n was. So it's going to be now 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus dot 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 plus. Now before it was n cubed, we're substituting all of it into there. So it's going to become k plus 1 cubed is equal to. Uh, I'm going to rearrange this a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. It was n squared over 4. I'm going to write this as 1 quarter times k plus 1 squared. Now, here's where it gets a little bit trickier again. Because, because the statement was, let me just copy this. Because the statement was 1 plus n, we're substituting k there. So it's going to be 1 plus k plus 1 all squared. You see that substitution? n is equal to k plus 1, so it's going to be 1 plus k plus 1. We can simplify that down to k plus 2 all squared. So this is what we're going to um, start trying to prove. Now take a look, the left hand side only, and here's where it gets a little bit <laughs> trickier as well. We get 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus dot dot dot. I'm going to leave a little space there because you're going to see a little sneaky trick. If it goes up until k plus 1, that means the term right before it is just k cubed. But we assumed this statement to already be true here. See? 1 cubed plus, you know, let me, 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus all the way until k cubed is equal to this. We assume that to be true, and there it is. So that entire statement we're going to substitute for this. So the left hand side is going to become k squared on 4. Uh, I'm going to rearrange this so instead of 1 plus k going to be k plus 1 squared and I'll highlight it just so you can see what I substituted so all of that is now this because we assumed that statement true but there's still that plus k plus 1 plus k plus 1 cubed now from here we work some more algebra into this. We're going to have the same denominator over 4. This will stay the same. This will be k squared, k plus 1 squared. But this one is now going to be 4, 4 times k plus 1. From here, I'm going to factor out a quarter. And I can factor out the k plus 1, oops, I just realized that's a cubed, my apologies. I'm going to factor out k plus 1 squared, so it's going to be k plus 1 squared outside of, this here is remaining, and on this one, there's still one more, k plus 1. Oops, sorry, 4. Oh, there's a 4 there. My apologies. There's a 4 there. 4 times k plus 1. We expand. 1 quarter k plus 1 squared. k squared plus 4. k plus 4. And then we factorize just this one. So 1 quarter k plus 1 squared. Factorizing this it becomes k plus 2 all squared. Now, we just worked 
just the right hand side uh, sorry the left hand side and we've let the left hand side now equal the right hand side so then you can say that this is equal to the right hand side and we've done the proof so we've proven that when n is equal to k plus 1 the left hand side does indeed become the right hand side so we conclude this entire thing by doing the third step we can say by mathematical induction the statement the statement going to be lazy and use my iPad technology this statement here is true for all n is greater than or equal to 1 from we can just make it easy from step 1 and step 2 and that's the end of one example so <laughs> I hope that gave you an insight into um, the actual method and as you've seen the bulk of the work is actually done in step 2 in particular in this proving for n is equal to k plus 1 I hope that gave you an insight into the mathematical induction Hope to see you in the next video where we do another example. See you then.